Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean. Last time we finished up our business at Parr's Temple, maintained our possession of both Fear and Joshua, and made our way to the village of Tromp. So let's explore this. Now, this is kind of a small little town. There's not really a whole lot we can do here, but because it's a new town, first things first, let's pick up. Ah, well, here's some inf interesting information. Yeah, don't hold more than 999 skill points. Uh, spend them. I think I may have already mentioned that, but uh, anyway, let's purchase knowledge number three. It's the only one I haven't picked up yet. And now, I believe there's only one new. No, that's the one. Thank you. Only one left. Yeah, the one I actually need. We got 549 skill points with Radix, which is pretty good. Oddly enough, Iria actually has more, which is sad. <laughs> Fear's got 300, Joshua's got 192. Not bad, um, I kinda wish they had more, but oh well. We will get access to, no, that's a dead end. We will get access to what I need uh, in order to actually put skills to use eh, soon enough. Anyway, what was that light? Well, we have to go figure out what that light was, but what Iria said last time, if we choose the correct option, is the century's coming to an end. I thought she said the world's like, wait, what? <laughs> not yet. The world's not coming to an end yet. We have to know about it before it can come to an end. Uh, but yeah, so Iria was saying that if we came here, we could secure... Um, Scout is an interesting ability I'll go over later. Again, I haven't learned any skills yet. But yeah, I'll try and say it for a third time. Area was telling us that we could secure a boat to Portmus if we we're here in town, if you selected the second option at the last dialogue point uh, in the last episode there. So, since we did that, we will be able to do that eventually. And that'll save us a nice walk back. Let's see here, we got a weapon shop. I don't think there's anything good here. Anything useful? Let's see, got that, got that. Got that, got that. Iron Greaves, still don't care. If it was on someone else other than Radix, I'd probably care, but Radix can use a shield, so upping his evade means more, to me anyway, than upping his defense by a little bit. Here we can buy some spectacles, which I don't need, and a bunch of other things that I don't need. Eh, let's buy a couple aqua berries. Buy flare bombs here if you want, magic colors, and more trumpets if you care. I don't, not right to now. I will end up having to buy some more musical instruments later, as you've noticed, they're all extremely expensive, and that's why I haven't purchased any yet. But, yeah, so that's nice. There's a boat here that goes exactly where we need it to go. Let's talk to you. That kind of is scary. Can you get out of my way? Thank you. Bar probably contains... Oh, it contains people. No clue where to find any. Well, you're good for nothing, aren't you? Huge explosion over in the Clado area. Well, we're going to go check that out if you'll get out of my way. Thank you. And the barkeeper just says welcome because he's boring. Uh, what do you have? Now, here is a completely different type of... Uh, like, uh, what is this, a grocery store? This time, you don't actually get to buy individual, you know, things with a list. You can choose to buy a steak. What would you like for dessert? Well, I'm going to go fruit parfait. I think you pay like 60 full for each one or something like that. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Cinderella vial. Very important. Hold on to that for later. Do not sell it. Do not. I don't use it either. Oh, I'm assuming they went to go check out the explosion over by Clato there. Well, that's pretty much all this down is, so we might as well uh, do the same. Let's go check it out. 
Uh, there's a few more people to talk to. Yeah, let's get on that boat. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't care. I, I've never tried sea urchins. I, I'm not sure if they're good. I'm not a big fan of seafood in general. Uh, like, I don't mind trout or salmon or even some tuna, but uh, seafood, crab, um, shellfish, stuff like that, not really a big fan of. I've tried little bits here and there and just... Nope, not my thing. Anyway, with that, we are back in Portmus. Thank you very much. It's going to save me a bunch of time. Speaking of time, I'm going to save you guys a bunch of time and run back to Clato off-screen. Yes, you have to run back to the screen right in front of the very first town. And you know where to get, how to get there by now, so I'll just uh, leave you guys to it, and I'll see you there in a moment. And we're back. The scene starts immediately after you enter the scene here. And we find out that this ship is newer than the one that he saw. Obviously, the fact this one's still on fire. But, yeah, a starship. That's what they call it. A ship from the stars. Ah, so yeah, this is the ship of that... Uh, group that was influencing the uh, other organization that the Federation was at war with. Remember the other group uh, materialized in front of the Calnus, the ship that we were on with Yuri and Renexus, and asked us to uh, for this truce, and we had this conversation, we found out that they had this other group behind them that was influencing everything. Yeah, this is one of their ship. Ships. Whatever. Now, fortunately, that's it. We came all the way back here for this one sequence, and now we have to walk all the way back to Tron. I'm not kidding. You have to go all the way back to Tron. Yeah, this kind of an asshole move. Unfortunately, the boat in Portmus does not take you back to Trop. You have to go there on your own. But I'm gonna make a quick pit stop first. Now, now that we're back here in Mount Metox, we can go into this dungeon again. Now, you are not designed to come here at level 21 through 28 not by a long shot. However, I usually tend to do an early run at this area and collect all the treasure. You can actually collect a rather powerful weapon, Ferratix, that I think has like 400 attack power compared to the, uh, what is it, the 140 that he has now. Uh, it's Earth Elemental, by the way. So you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, it's worthwhile. But basically what you have to do is you have to save outside, run in, grab a couple treasures, run out, run away from all battles, and then heal up in between each one. And, you know, as soon as you run out of blueberries, you're pretty much hooped. So you got to run back and buy more blueberries all the time in Hot uh, or Portmus, whatever your choice is. I think Hot's quite a bit closer. But anyway, I'm not going to do it right now in this playthrough, mainly because I'm overpowered enough at this stage. Um, it'll catch up with me in the next area, but uh, I'll be able to run through the next bit of the, uh, the game, and I'll come back to here when I'm probably more ready. You're probably supposed to be in your upper 30s before you come back here, but uh, there are ways of getting through that a little early, and I'll, uh, of course, go over those. Anyway, I will meet you back all the way in Trop. Okay, we're back. And after that long dredging uh, trek, I healed up in the inn there. I don't think I learned anything new. I don't even think I leveled, but uh, I didn't avoid the battles. I just fought them very quickly. Most of them with fast forward. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can finally move forward to Ekdart. Thank you. 
Oh yes, this is gonna be good. Same port as before, however. Now, you'll get a scene triggering here if you have brought Ashley in your party. I believe you also get the scene if you recruited Seas. I'm not 100% sure on that. Like I said, it's been quite a while since I uh, played uh, a game with Seas in my party, so. Anyway, here, if we go to the item shop here, he talks about a silver trumpet and then sells every musical instrument in the game. And as you can see, if we bought one of each, I already got a trumpet, so let's uh, do one violin. It would cost us almost 700, uh, well, hell, it would cost us almost 800,000. I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah, so obviously we're not going to do that. Transaction not completed. Obviously, I couldn't afford it anyway. So yeah, there are a lot of musical instruments there. Not that I really care. Huh, pretty jewels. Do we have anything useful? Well, you can come here to buy stuff if you want. Necklaces are useless. Same thing we got before. Uh, brooch is, as far as I know, just as useless. I've never bought one. It doesn't help me at all. Sorry about the interruption there. Just got distracted. Talk to people and things. Yeah, but nothing really worth buying in that shop. I don't really care for it. You can come back at different points to buy items if you need them for, say, uh, crafting, which I may end up doing. Just because I'm thinking of imposing a few limitations on myself because I can really break the game in, say, about another three, four hours or so of gameplay. Yeah, I can pretty much break the game and have all of the end game here right now. <laughs> so, yeah. I probably won't do that because that'll just make the rest of the game kind of pointless, but uh... anyway, apparently they're making an anti-military force in uh, the Kingdom of Ban, which is not this town. This is an empty house. What's this? Nothing. Okay, helpful. Now down here, go up there later. What else do we got in this town? I'm kind of doing things out of order. Uh... Oakley Dokley, what do you got? He has booze. Now, most of the time, booze in the future games, they restore your MP. I don't know why you would pay 4,000 for the same, like, all of these restore 30% MP. I'm assuming they're just different types of wine or sake, depending on which one. Yeah, see, this is a dry wine. Uh, that's rice wine, which is sake, by the way, I believe. No, that's just a standard one as well. Anyway, I would never buy them. It's pointless. Uh, there's better things that we can use. There's actually an item, I think it's called a stink pot, that we got from an enemy before I sold it off screen, but basically it restores 30% of your uh, HP as well. However, that one inflicts poison on you, so I would not recommend using that one. Trout? No, they don't live in the ocean. I was talking about that before. I can't remember if it was this episode or the last. I think it was this episode. But yeah, they, uh, I don't mind trout. Trout are good. Freshwater uh, rainbow trout. Ooh. Not something I want to eat often, but definitely something interesting to have once in a while. Yeah, let's talk to you. You found it on the ground. What was that? Hey, did you actually give me something? Uh... Yeah, I think that's what she gave me, because I just sold all of those. Or maybe I got it from a battle. Who knows? Uh, oh! that's I think that's what she gives you. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of those uh, items that we saw in the store there. Not that I would ever buy one. I forgot that was there, actually. His name's Lucky. Oh, cute. And she got mad at him. Yes, I kind of realized that. What was that? Well, there's a bar here. And a guy with a bird dancing on his head. Okay. Sure there, buddy. Two savories, you can make them as source HP. Yeah, you could try a bunch of different combinations if you require them. Um, there's 
an item creation uh, guide on GameFAQs if you're interested. Um, unfortunately, it's based on an older translation and some of the things aren't translated at all. Um, so it might not work all that well. You're probably better off looking at, say, guide from First Departure, Star Ocean First Departure, instead because they'll have proper translations and you'll be able to figure them out from there. Oh, so a couple more towns and we'll be at Van Castle. Well, that's helpful. Now, before I talk to you, Ah, been passed down the Armstrong line for generations. God, Armstrong is a funny-ass character. Everybody go watch uh, Full Metal Alchemist again. Or Brotherhood, or both, because they're both awesome. Anyway. Eh, there's nothing there. Thought there was a treasure chest in this town somewhere. No, apparently not. I'm just running around in circles. Have I been in here? I think I've been in here. Have I? I have not been in here. Let's talk to you. Um, yeah, me too, dude. I could uh, use a nap right about now. That would be much helpful. Uh, here's the inn. Don't need to rest in the inn, so let's just talk to you. Assembling select troops for an anti-demon world force. Well, someone else was talking about that too, so that sounds kind of like a good idea. Demon world doesn't sound very pleasant, and that's an empty house. I don't know why you got, you know, located in the center of town, but oh well. Now, last but certainly not least, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna get it. The final skill set, sense level three. Finally. And, of course, that's the wrong person. <laughs> that guy tells you which skills you get. Yeah, let's uh, get this now. Use it well. It doesn't cost much, but oh my god, is it worth it. Now, finally, I don't need to hold off anymore. Willpower to work toward a goal requires SP for skills. De that does not sound proper at all. God. Basically, you put one point into this. Watch, say, function costs 40. And now it's 39. Every other skill goes down when you use this. Earlier in the game, you ran into someone who said, you gotta put effort toward in order to, you know, have lots of skills. And if you don't put the effort forward, then you're not going to have any skills and you'll be bored doing nothing, or something to that extent. Yeah. That's why I made a joke at the time about it actually making a lot of sense. Yeah. You want to wait until you get effort. If you don't, you will run out of skill points so fast. It is not even funny. But yeah, so now that we do this, max effort now. Oh, and I just had enough too. Now, look at all of the skills that only require one point at the start. Again, don't put anything else in yet. Just max that and nothing else. I will go into why that's important. But now that we have effort, that should be the first thing that everyone goes after. There we go. Now, unfortunately, Fear and Joshua aren't going to have enough to max it out, but you definitely want to put as many points as you can in with both of them. However, now we have another option. We have Perseverance and Patience. Now, when you, let's see here, press the uh, X button, and you'll notice that we have Training. Increases the amount of experience points gained after battle. This, for lower level characters who are trying to catch up, is very useful. In fact, if you leave this on for the whole game, for, well, once you get it, your underleveled characters will be higher level than Radix as long as he's not using it and the amount of experience you gain is increased as your level in training increases. In order to actually access it, you need three different skills. Now, it doesn't tell you which three you need. Normally you press the A button on there in order to figure it out, but you can't yet. Now, I don't mind wasting three points on this now that I have effort, so I'm gonna put one into Perseverance, one into Patience, we learn the training ability. Now, I'll put another point into there to level it up, because it was only one. And with fear, I'm going to do the same thing. One into there. 
two? Why didn't that one level up? Probably because I had another skill into effort already. Now, the way that works, I might as well show that off, is now we can go to training and see which skills we have and which ones are, you know, we need to raise in order to up that skill further, because it'll be hard to kind of memorize each of them. There are like, you know, 10, 9 something different skills, as you can see, yeah, lots of them. So now that we've done that, we go into our special command, which now instead of taking us straight to text, will take us to a menu containing a bunch of options. Training. If you are on act normal, you get a normal amount. If you go to this, you gain more. Now, in future versions, not future versions, but future Star Ocean games, I believe you gain more experience at the cost of taking more damage or having lower stats or something like that. In this game, I don't notice it and it doesn't say it, so I'm assuming it doesn't happen. But I do want to make sure to put this on for both of them now, so they'll get more experience faster, so they'll catch up faster, so they'll get more points to put into effort. You see where I'm going with this. So, yeah, um, very nice to have this. I still don't want to put anything else, any other points in, specifically on Iria, because I'm going to be using her first. I recommend, I highly recommend not putting any more points into anything yet. I will explain why when we get there, but uh, yeah. So anyway, now that we finally have that, we can finally start making use of skills and we can also move on to the next town because there's nothing to do here other than pick up that. So anyway, after uh, that, we now have, uh, well, it's not letting me do a private action, but okay. Anyway, after that, we can finally move forward. But will there be another quest blocking our way? Well, if you want to find out, you'll have to tune in next time.